Yeah, there's been a huge rise just in the, uh, the last five years uh, for the availability of different brews and beers. Uh, a lot of breweries have opened up too, or craft breweries, uh, which is fantastic, they're giving it a go. Um, but just the amount of imports, um, it's really, really good to see. Like uh, places like Slow Beer and Purvis, um, Black House and Sparrows, they have a huge uh, craft beer selection, um, uh, especially from America too, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, Bitter Beer, which is my company, we bring over uh, New Zealand uh, craft beer, such as Epic and Eight Wide um, and Emerson's, um, Zephyr Cider, and uh, this is going, uh, going really, really well. I think a lot of people are appreciating beer uh, more and treating it like a wine, um, rather than just sort of something you swig at a barbecue and you know, drink out of the bottle. It's, um, it's really good to see people's drinking habits change. A lot of people don't drink um, uh, wine out of a cask, but they're happy to drink the beer equivalent. Um, so I think there's a bit of a change happening there, which is great. Uh, you've got to have passion as well, and I think the passion is reflected in, in the beer a lot of the time. Like if it's uh, a mass-produced uh, beer on a factory level, you can actually taste that, whereas if it's uh, batch brewed, and um, especially if the brewer has his own brewery, and he gets up at six in the morning or five in the morning, and he's down there, and he's mashing in, and he's actually doing it all himself, you can really taste the difference. So um, I think it's, uh, it's all about the passion. Um, part of the sommelier course now as well is uh, actually involving uh, beer appreciation. So if you want to train to be a sommelier, you need to know the, the brewing process and know the ingredients about beer, um, what goes into it, uh, how to appreciate it. Um, I think it's extremely important. Um, a lot of restaurants have a, a wine list, um, which is you know, pages and pages long, and then they have the, the beer afterwards as like a little afterthought. Um, I think it should be divided into styles. So you have uh, your Pilsens and your, uh, your Porters together, or, or you know, Belgian beers, Hoppy beers, Pale Ales, um, just like the wine list. Um, yeah, I think restaurants couldn't get away with having uh, five Sauvignon Blancs on the list and that was all. People would uh, get quite upset, so uh, there's no reason why they should do that with the beers.